Growing up, I've been inspired and moved by many different soundtracks, which have inevitably shaped the way I compose and what kinds of feelings I prefer to emit through my own compositions. Today, I want to talk about some of these soundtracks and why they're important to me. You might be surprised to learn that this list doesn't include composers like Jerry Goldsmith, John Williams, Thomas Newman, Hans Zimmer, and James Horner, and Harry Gregson Williams. There are a handful of soundtracks I'll be talking about that I'd like to play music from, but YouTube's copyright algorithm sucks, so for those ones I'll recreate parts of the music myself. First, let's talk about some soundtracks I generally find inspirational. Narc. This is my all-time favourite movie and I've watched it well over 50 times. I absolutely love the soundtrack by Cliff Martinez. It fits the movie so perfectly and organically with subtle electric piano, synths and ambiences. It also heavily features sounds from Spectrosonic's Bizarre Guitar Library. This soundtrack has had a huge influence on my style of ambient industrial composing. Session 9 The minimalistic soundtrack for this movie has been another big influence on my ambient industrial composing. The use of tape effects, noise and wonky piano amplify the movie's dirty and abandoned atmosphere. I made an entire EP inspired by this soundtrack. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind This movie can be quite haunting with its themes of impulsive love, memory loss and realisation, but the curiously emotive soundtrack really drives the point home with piano, idiophones, plucks and warm unresolved string chords. Whenever I think of lonely but hopeful compositions, this soundtrack always comes to mind. Cube this minimalist experimental film has a matching minimalist experimental soundtrack that utilises noises and human voice sounds to create an eerie yet organic atmosphere. Whenever I think of eccentric atmospheric compositions, this soundtrack always comes to mind. Airborne This somewhat underground romance comedy slash sports film has a perfectly realised soundtrack by Stuart Copeland. The rhythmic melodic passages, simple guitar work and subtle tension during the final race scene has always left an influence on my own scoring. Pan's Labyrinth There are a lot of games that have inspired my fantasy style orchestral work, but when it comes to movies, the whimsical enigmatic orchestral work for Pan's Labyrinth made a big impression on me. Its insistence on tastefulness rather than sweeping epic displays is what I find most entrancing. Now we'll talk about some specific pieces in certain soundtracks that really made an impression on me and have become my favourite compositions of all time. Jacob's Ladder opening theme. This opening theme for piano is haunted and sorrowful and it sets the tone for the entire movie. Its use of minor chords gives it a sinking and lost feeling. <laughs> Mulholland Drive main theme. This warm and eerie theme is played with synth strings and, in my opinion, is some of Angelo Badalamenti's best work because of how complete and emotive it is with such a minimal use of sounds.
Falling Down character theme. James Newton Howard's soundtrack for Falling Down is phenomenal, but there's a particular theme that plays twice during the film that utilises strings, horns and trumpet to capture the working man's hopelessness in a capitalist city. It's short, sweet and has a great major add minor seventh chord placement. One Hour Photo, Size Theme. This is possibly one of the greatest character themes ever composed, in my opinion. Both the instrument choice and the chord progression match the main character's personality and predicament. The chord progression elegantly weaves in and out, constantly seeking resolution but sinking further into enigmatic inversions, much like the character in the movie. This piece single-handedly started me off in composing with motivation, which I made a video of a while back. Princess Mononoke main theme. Joe Hisaishi composes some truly moving pieces, although he does tend to repeat himself in various films. Princess Mononoke is what I consider to be his strongest soundtrack. The main theme has inspired many of my own tracks.
Clue opening theme. John Morris is one of my favourite composers, and much to the chagrin of some of you watching, I like his Spaceball soundtrack a lot more than John Williams' Star Wars soundtrack. The composition that had the most impact on me since childhood, however, is his theme for Clue. The bold, mysterious staccato chords and quaint synth lead are a great example of mystery scoring. I saw the devil ending theme. The music composed for the final scene and credits of this dark Korean revenge film makes the story hit you hard. Its mournful sound lacks hopefulness or resolve, and the string sound is one I've constantly tried to recreate, with LNS chamber strings recently achieving it for me finally. Other than that, there are a range of soundtracks I love that have had little influences on my music here and there, like True Lies, The Princess Bride, Zatoi Chi, Sha Po Lang, Yibban, Taxi Driver, The Fly, Lethal Weapon 4, Lay a Cake, The Exorcist, Glengarry Glen Ross, 
Pathology. Willy Wonka. Labyrinth. Candyman. Twister. Face Off. Terminator 2. Smoke and Aces. And the original Riverdance soundtrack. I won't put game soundtracks here because we'd be here for another three weeks. And that's that. If you like these videos, you can support the channel by picking up an album at Bandcamp. I'll see you next time with whatever. Check you later.